morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And today here on day 53, since we have a few days left before the Horde, we're about halfway through the week, I figured instead of doing that tier 5 over there, which is the hospital, uh, and, you know, basically that's in like the temperate biome, I figured I wanted to do some more wasteland raiding. So here we are. We're right close to the base. You could probably almost see it from here. And we've already cleared out these two POIs, but I'm thinking if we take a look at the map, uh, oh, in fact, uh, this here does not appear to be a wasteland POI. Uh, my mistake there. This is a burned biome POI. What about that one over there? That would also be burned biome. Yeah, and this is the Quiet Pines, which is a tier 5, so we'll wait until we perhaps get that during a quest. Okay, so we need to push down to this block here and start uh, doing some wasteland raids. It's all residential, and then maybe cut over here into the next door city and uh, see if we can find anything that uh, tickles my fancy a little bit. Here we go. Okay, we're in the wasteland now, and uh, I suppose probably this house here on the left is a good one to start off with. Just park right here on the cul-de-sac. Oh, but bird, look out. Ah! Oh, we got a level up too. Nice. And dog. So far, so good. Oh, by the way, I forgot to put some bandages in your storage here. In fact, I think I I forgot to put the uh, the drone medic mod on, so <laughs> scratch that idea for now. Oh, and by the way, I did hop on over to Patreon and I selected a name for the drone at random from the naming rights tier or above. And the name we got was Kev James. So thank you so much to Kev James. We're going to be calling this robot here James. Check the mail, of course. Chili dog recipe. Already read it. Big mama here looking for some chili dogs. Okay, we're locked on the front, which kind of leads me to believe we're probably supposed to head in through the side here. Yep, here we go. Well, I don't want to spend all day kind of poking through these places. Are you going to wake up? Oh, goodness. Got a good sneak attack on her. Yeah, and I'm not going to like, uh, you know, pick through everything. I'm just going to kind of wander through here and just, you know, get whatever I can really fast. The intent of today is to just get main loots. Whoa! Main loots, passing gas boxes, construction site boxes, things like that. Yep, glue, that's nice. Good morning, Thomas! Eat that! Freaking wood cutting axe right to the spinal cord. Oh, got a rads in the roof! Look out! Maybe knock out these accessory zombies, we can face this guy one-on-one. -on -one. Ow! You know, they really don't hit too hard, if you look at my health there, with the heavy armor that we have and stuff, so... Uh, it's just when they get you pinned, that's when they become a big problem. Oh, good morning. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, about to fall off the roof here. Would you come down here? Oh, man. Clumsy zombies today. We're almost to the main loot, I think. It should be right up here in the attic. At least I hope. I think we're on the right track here, aren't we? Uh, this place looks familiar. Ah, uh, right, this place. Yeah, you head in here, or you could have, whoops, head out the other way. Oh boy, speaking of getting stuck, where am I? <laughs> here we go. Yes, run over here. Oh crap, ooh, I fell almost all the way down the stairs. I should know better by now than to rush things like this, but uh, I can't help it. <laughs> just my style sometimes. Right, and the loot is up on this little loft here. Here we go. Can I pick this yet? No, I suck at lock picking so bad that I'm just gonna continue using time charges. And let's go ahead and get an eye candy down, the lucky goggles on, and we'll see if we can rush and gank the loot somewhere else. Oh, look at that. S-class pair of gloves. Barbrawling book here. Might as well read it. Uh, after getting hit, brawling attacks are 20% faster and increase movement speed by 10%. That is a good one for the brawler build. Ooh, scrap knife. And we are reading the tech junkie books now, but we didn't get lucky on that one. And with that, we're out of here. Right, where can we go next? Actually, I think I know where the loot is on this place here. I think the loot's like right up here somewhere. There, uh, let me in here. Yes, here we go. Oh, ha, <laughs> not loaded. Loot should be right in here, right? Ah, oh, damn it. Yes, right here. Oh, good military vest there, not too bad. And a treasure map, good stuff. 
You know, we have another treasure map that we could dig up here in the near future, but I think we're all set here. Let's check that for drinks, fresh water. Yep, up and out, up and out, up and out. Come on, there we go. We still have time left. Let's go that way. Is that where we came from? No, that's a little place too. We can hit that up real fast. All right, what's going on here? Zombie's waking up inside. The light is over here and we go in this way, I think. Yes. Oh, I know this place. Yes, upstairs. Okay, just get a gun out here. About to get in some trouble, I think. Whoa, yes. Oh, rad. Loot's in one of these places here. Yikes. I believe I have recollection that there's also like a weapons bag up here somewhere or maybe it's that sports bag there or I don't really know what's in here yes main loot got it ah zombie behind me ah! okay dying yeah, I told you I was gonna get myself killed doing this I didn't expect there to be friggin nine zombies in a tier one whoa ow Okay, junk turret, you protect me and heal up. Anyway, uh, time's running out on the looting kit. Time, in fact, oh no, we have a minute left. Yes, check the wood crate, already got the wood crate. Check this, cover me. Oh my goodness, truck wheel and motorcycle wheel recipes. Go ahead and read them both, just for the fun of it. And an impact bracing mod schematic. I do not need that, I already have a pair on, I believe. All right, we are almost good as new here. Aha, zombie bear. We do need the testosterone extract and also we need um, with, uh, leather. So we're gonna take this guy out. Can you get me up here? Ah, okay, I guess we're riding the bear. Ow, we're gonna ride the bear, but we're gonna do it with an SMG. Ah, come on, bitch. I got him. It's like my signature move now, riding the bear. Okay, I guess we're moving right along here. No sense in stopping now. Let's hit up that house there. That looks different. Yeah, we can do this place here, and then we can do a couple other residential houses, and ooh, that one over there looks kind of fancy. I think that's the same one as, uh, there's one over there that's the same POI as that one. I'm interested in seeing what's in there. Got a wall safe here that I can't pick, damn it. You can't pick them and they it takes forever with, with this thing. So, ah oh man, these things suck. Whatever, just open it up. Great heist book and, uh, oh geez, the power tier three vault hatch. I've seen that like six times. I might as well just read it this time. Oh, hello, yikes. Ow. Jesus Christ, man. Main loot area here, I think. Just knock out these guys, a bunch of softies. Yes, right in here, and we got another tier one loot, okay? Probably should be wearing my lucky goggles for this. Oh, we got a soldier, came in from outside. Oh boy. <laughs> I love it when you take their legs off. All right, I'm gonna go on to that like Bavarian style German looking POI right there. I'm gonna grab the vehicle, I'll meet you there. All right, here we are, we made it. It's a very cool looking place. Let's uh, see if we can find an entrance here. Locked door there. Oh, might as well <laughs> wake him up. The zombies will open it for me. What do we got going on back here? Perhaps the intended entrance, I would say, maybe. Can I just sneak in through here? Oh, a bunch of zombies in there I didn't quite see there. Okay, I seem to be getting quite a bit of lag here. Lots of zombies. Oh boy, big mama careening out of there. God, she's so strong, damn it. And a loot bag there, I believe I am still wearing the lucky goggles, I am. Good steel axe and food. And I guess we can head up in here. Oh boy, here we go again. Holes in the floor, bodes poorly, although it's dirt underneath, so I don't think that there's a basement here. Okay, here we go, yes, oh, there is a basement and there are zombies kind of just stuck everywhere. And we are into the backyard area, looks like. Get everyone gathered up. I hear a snake. We got zombies coming in from like 
way up there. Look at that guy. Got stuck in the wall there. We got here. Here's the snake. Give me that leather, buddy. Okay, we're all over the place here. I could go in this way, or I could go in that way. Not exactly sure what the intended way to go is. So we'll start over here, I think. Slurp down some of this charred meat here. And, uh, I don't know, drink a beer, I guess. We'll roll through here with a little bit of blurred vision for a second. Get back! Ow! Okay, so this, like, little apartment is nothing. That was a good, uh, find there. Vitamins for our fatigue. Where'd that go? Oh, I already have four of them. <laughs> yeah, great find. Lucky me. Alright, I'm about ready for this blurry vision to wear off. Ooh, look at that. B-class frying pan. Well, that's a bust there. I guess we could go up the balcony or in here. Jeez, <laughs> very non-linear. Which is kind of nice. Just explore at your own leisure, I guess. Sniper rifle book. Go ahead and read that. And I'm just, um salvaging these um, electronics because it's not really worth it to me now to get the research data. So I guess, okay, robotic drone, open the storage. What can I just toss in here really quickly? Oh, that massive 44 pound gasoline barrel that I brought with me to, to fuel up the, the buggy that I forgot all about here. Yeah, take all that crap. Oh, are you all weighed down now? I see, okay, yeah, take all that stuff back out. Zombie, ah! Hey, can I take this? We'll have like a pet lizard container. Also, I'm infected. Good thing I have that jar of honey there. Ooh, great heist book here. Ah, that's the motion detector one. Useless. Is there anything fun up here? Zombies? Here's that zombie that was awake too. <laughs> you just uh, stay right there, construction man. I'll get to you in just a second. There we go. And this guy's stuck in the floor just like his friend was stuck in the rooftop. It's like one of those places you gotta kind of search every nook and cranny. You never know what you're gonna find. Like, is there uh, something special in there? Nope, just a, a wooden piece of concrete. Got a, ooh, guy dangling from a string there. And some more tools over here. Good scrap sledge. Toolbox. What do we got here? Uh, got a ladder going up. Careful, because we also got a uh, death trap going down, it seems like. Oh, rad. Uh, what can I do? <laughs> I wish I could see his head. Oh, close enough, I guess. Here, why don't you come and show me what this trap is all about? No, 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 no. Fall down there. Fall down. Yikes. Over here. Over here. No. Ow. Well, I suppose I could probably... Oh, don't, 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 don't. Okay. Oh, there's water down there? I heard a water splash. Okay, we might go down there if there's water, but um, I just want to see what's up here real quick. I feel like I've skipped over some portion of the POI, but then again, it's it's just like residential stuff, so maybe that's the intended way to go? Oh! Ah, uh, did you see that? The Titanium Katana Schematic! Oh, I know what we're crafting when we get home tonight. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a bunch of junk around here. Here, let's go back up to the um, the mysterious chute down into the water and hope that this doesn't hurt me when I do this. Maybe just, um... Oh, I wish I had, like, an oh shit's drop. Uh, okay. Here, get a gun out in case there's a trap down there. Make sure it's reloaded. And, yep, oh, here we go. Oh, I hope this is deep. Oh, it is deep. Okay, we're good. Remember to uh, crouch down when you're trying to move through water, because you move a lot faster. You can see I'm actually moving pretty fast. Is there any uh, air up here, maybe? We got no air. Okay, we gotta push on really quickly then, so we don't suffocate. Zombie. Kill him. There we go. Steak. Alright, uh... <laughs> There's probably a bear down here, knowing uh, my recent luck. Garage storage box, a couple of lead car batteries, just what I need to fucking weigh me down even more. It's pretty tight quarters here, so I'm confident that we could kind of run really quickly, or we could just like, probably face down a bear. I feel like we're doing enough damage per second now that we could just, ooh, face down a bear with no big deal. Uh, okay, hang on a second. I woke up a dog somewhere. Was that the dog I was just looking at? I'm trying to set up like a fallback position here. No, I think that's an outside dog. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way over here. Just kill the dog first. Well, it's probably gonna wake up the cop, but I can at least guarantee his death. We got a cop. Okay, he's feral. 
So we're going to run back here. Whoa, look out. Yikes. Bring it on, buddy. Got him. All right, I think we just had that rad, and then we're good. Oh, here, we, here he is. Yikes. Okay, he's down. Got uh, zombies trying to beat in here from somewhere. This... Oh, God damn it. Yikes. There we go. Also another cop somewhere. Is this the main loot? Certainly looks like it here. Anything back here? Ooh, yes. This is the main loot back here. Oh, there's a bunch of barrels and stuff back there. Okay, open up all this stuff. Go ahead and take an eye Lots of zombies upstairs. That could definitely be a horde. Lucky goggles on for this. Blow it up. Check this first. Ooh, good iron shovel. Then destroy this because there's another crate behind it that I saw. There we go. Car parts box with a scrap shovel, vehicle off-road headlights, and some oil shale. Just scrapping those. Don't need them. Another Jennifer's treasure map. I think I already pulled one of those out today and some, I think that was 10 mil ammo. Motor tool parts. Don't need those. Iron breaker already read that. And I think with that, we're probably done. I'll take the mushrooms with me. Yep. So I guess uh, we're heading up the ladder now. There should be an exit here somehow. Right there, it appears. Hello? A whole bunch of zombies around me somewhere. Let's just run out here and see where they are. Ah, oh, just a bunch of zombies up there. Mm, yeah, I'm kind of on the clock now because I have the eye candy active, so I'm just going to leave. That was a pretty cool place. I love the whole, like, dropping down and then... Ah, there's my horde right there. Hey, everyone. Just, uh, you know, hang out there for a minute for me and I'll be right there. I even brought skull crushers just for this occasion. Take a hobo stew, goldenrod tea to wash it down, and let's kill this fucking horde. Anyway, we've got the eye candy active and we have this little rinky dink farm place right here. Although I have like vague memories of this place being somewhat dangerous. Is anybody in here? We got one rad. Crawler. Arlene. What's the threat here? I feel like there's a threat here that I'm not seeing. Pigs in there. Pretty sure the loot's just up here somewhere. Oh, there. Oh, Thomas. Hello. Get a gun. Oh, I see. There's a way for them to get up here. Oh, here we go. A little bit of loot up here. Oh, there's the, the chest right there. Tier 2 loot chest, and we got 25 seconds left. We just made it there. Iron combat knife and another treasure map. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him to blow up. Why not? Give me that first. Yikes. Nice. Get out of there just in time. Aha, uh -huh. I was like thinking, is there anything sneaky in this water tower here? What do we got here anyway? Construction site box? Well, I was kind of hoping for hidden stashes, but that would be a little bit OP. Maybe one of these at least is a hidden stash. That's one. Otherwise, we're just construction site boxes. Lucky goggles on for this. Hidden stash has the pumpkin pie recipe. That's pretty cool. Otherwise, just junk. Okay, we are moving right along here. I don't know if this is um, anything special here or not. It looks like just kind of, um, I don't know. What is this, like a vineyard or something? What's this supposed to be? Whoa! Oh, boy. Uh, we're suddenly very surrounded. There's a lot of doors in this place. Here we go. Some open spaces here. Whoa! Look at all the zombies in here. Yikes! I think we're all clear, though. I feel like there's, uh, something sneaky here that I'm missing. Maybe there's, like, an underground, um, you know, like a storm shelter or something around here. Uh, something that would have some loot in it. No, I've had a look around and nothing seems out of place to me. Nothing suspicious here, so, you know, perhaps it'll just remain a mystery. There could be... There could be a basement portion, I suppose. If I, if I just get in here and I, like, open up one of these floorboards... Ah, uh, oh! Yes, in fact, there is. How do I get down there? I I must have missed the staircase or something. But I see I see no way to get down in there. I think that was just kind of chance. Unless there's like um some sort of an entrance on the exterior here. I don't know. Perhaps what's that? 
Uh, suspicious a little, little bit. Perhaps once we get down there, it'll become more clear of how we were supposed to get down there. And now I'm really curious, so I'm just gonna dive right down in here. Hello? Little bit of loot here. Ooh, A-class steel shovel. That'll definitely be replacing the G-class that I've been using. Otherwise, lots and lots of boxes. And, uh, oh, there's the staircase right there. Am I just a complete idiot or- Oh my god. Oh my god, I walked right freaking by it. <laughs> nice. Aha, ooh, look at this. Got a gun safe back here. I'm gonna have to probably take a uh, jailbreaker, the last one that I have. Easy. Let's check it out here. Great heist book again. Uh, less damage when you have 5,000 dukes or more, which is great, because I have a bunch of dukes on me at all times anyway, and a 4x scope there. Oh, here's the loot here. I suppose all the zombies that we fought upstairs were probably all hanging out down here, where the free beer is. Ooh, good police baton there. Those sell pretty good, too. So, oh, tech junkie here, robots and stun batons degrade slower. Very good. Ooh, a good AUC. Nice. Good spear there, S-class, and a machine gun book, which I'll read. All right, well, not a fantastic day for looting, but we have lots of stuff for selling, and that should probably be on the agenda for tomorrow, including probably going north and seeing if we can get the treasure map there. And I think that's actually a drop that we haven't gotten yet, so we can also grab that. Maybe tomorrow we can do that tier 5 quest as well. And I'm basically in the middle of the wasteland, though, and I have a bunch of treasure maps, so I think we can probably read these and just hope that we get at least one of them in the wasteland, and we could actually maybe dig that up tonight. Oh yes, read that great heist book, scrap that tech junkie book, and where are the Jennifer's maps? Here they are. We'll start one of those as well and check the map. Okay, we got Stefan's down there, and Jennifer's is over there, way over there. That's kind of way out of the way, and it uh, appears to be in the burned biome in the middle of the street, of course. Okay, well, uh, let's fly down there and get the treasure map, and then we'll probably head home after that. Where did I park my car? Aha, here we are, and look at this. It's in the middle of the lake. Oh boy, we got a lot of zombies here, too. Whoa! Yikes! Okay, that attracted a lot of attention to me. Yeah, we're, uh, we're starting the endless cycle here. We might need to abandon the area. Well, what do you say? I got nothing better to do tonight, so let's go for a little bit of a swim. All right, here we go. This is gonna take a while. I'll let you know when I find the thing. I found it, but I can't open it, and I don't have uh, any time charges or a jailbreaker candy. So, oh geez, give me some air. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I suppose there's always the option here of going into my skills and taking a point into lock picking, which will give me plus 20% to my lock picking. Let's do that. Make life easy on us tonight. Yep, I just auto picked it and oh wow, actually not half bad. Lots of ammo, good amount of money. All right, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, geez, that was close. All right, I've had enough of the water for one lifetime. Well, let's get out of here. All right, welcome back and good morning, everyone. Let's see, first of all, what I wanna do is put our new little reptile cage right down there, it's a perfect spot for it, right? I wish there was actually a lizard in it, that would be great. It looks like it's open anyway, so yeah, probably the uh, the original inhabitant escaped. I have been spending my morning repairing all of the sellable, repairable sellable materials, and then I'm gonna grab up the rest of them in uh, just a second. I think the awesome sauce is right up here, but there's sugar butts down here. So let's grab up just one sugar butt would be fine. Grab up the remainder of the sellables and there is our awesome sauce. Lots and lots of stuff to go through and we'll bring all the money with us. And I think let's head to a different trader. Let's see, we've been recently to most of the traders. However, we have not been to Camp Ethan for a while. So I think let's swing through there. Do the big sell-off, and on the way back, maybe we'll hit that hospital tier 5 quest. Alright, here we are. Shut this behind me. Oh, just check it over here. There's a working ATM, and uh, I was watching another playthrough. I was actually uh, tuned into an episode of Genosis's playthrough, 
And he hopped up on top of this, and there was a freaking ammo chest up there, so... <laughs> I'm really heavy right now, it's really difficult for me to jump, but I'm eventually gonna make it up there. All the way up here, and yes, we got a little munitions chest. Very good. Let's just prop, put on the proper set of goggles there and check it out. Ah, ammo. As for this, let's see. Are my newfound lockpicking skills good enough? They are. There we go. A little bit of extra cash for selling today. How can I help? Speaking of selling, how you doing, Private Ryan? Let's drink the awesome sauce. Well, Usually I like to see if there's anything that they have to sell first, so I don't have to spend too much time looking afterward. I can just go get it, bing, bang, boom, like that. So, batter up books, spear hunter, don't need those. Got a lucky looter book. I will start collecting those now that we're not so desperate for research data. Otherwise, yeah, nothing particularly useful here. As for Trader Wrecked, he does have a pretty good magazine extender. I mean, not the best. Ooh, what is that? Saw blade, an E-class saw blade. This toothed blade resembles more a saw than a sword, which is Pretty freaking cool, that's interesting. And compared to the Galloway blade, mmm, way worse still. I don't think we'll ever find anything that's better than the Ga the Inferno blade, the Galloway blade, uh, until at least we get that titanium katana crafted, which uh, reminds me, we need to go do that. Ooh, what is this? Exotic alloy kit? I don't even know what that is, but it sounds nice. There's a Valkyrie drill, which is a higher quality class than the one I have, although probably not worth investing a bunch of money into that. And a shotgun turret here, which uh, I think I do need to probably get... Uh, I would rather get an SMG turret, actually, because I want to set that up on the base before the Horde Knight. We can craft them. I think it just, uh, they require uh smg parts and i'm kind of saving those to maybe upgrade the ump so yeah maybe we'll swing by captain ellen's and see if she's selling one of those but anyway for now let's go with the awesome sauce sugar butts get the nerdy glasses on for extra xp and we'll see how much we can make boom just like that 41k and about 45,000 xp excellent a couple more things we can sell off to ryan here what do you want and that's it. So on this end, uh, I believe I will end up just taking that magazine extender just because it's pretty good quality. It's better than um, the ones that I have, and I would like to probably put it onto the Golconda, especially if I can get it upgraded. I want to see what that exotic alloy kit thing is in uh, Volume 6, Volume 3. Yes, make sure I'm not buying repeat books. I'll go ahead and take the gyrocopter accessories just so we, if we ever happen across the gyrocopter chassis, we could at least get that crafted. And I will take this one shotgun turret in case we cannot find the um, SMG turret anywhere today. Otherwise, I think I'll just save my money. And there's lots of zombies out here. Is this like a horde lots of zombies or just like a regular lots of zombies? Oh, it's definitely a horde lots of zombies. Well, we'll defend the walls. Private Riot, I'll save you. I think let's go try and see if there's anything we can get out of the vending machine that's worthwhile. Eye candy, nothing really good. Okay, a couple jailbreakers, that helps. Coffee, I'll take the coffee now and let's head outside. Right over here, my friends. Where's all the ferals anyway? There should be a bunch of ferals and we should be starting to get rads, but it's just like 100% regular zombies here. All in one line. Swinging by Captain Ellen's here. We'll see if they have timed charges and also an SMG turret that I might have overlooked last time I was here. Still have the sugar butts active. Yeah. Greetings, everyone. One timed charge. Lucky me. He does have some night vision goggles, which I'm gonna buy up real quick. And he's also just selling the shotgun turrets. Damn it. Well, poor luck today, I guess. Anyway, sure. it is time to do the hospital. Okay, rolling up on the hospital here. Lots of, oh, look, watch out for the landmines and spikes. What the hell are all those spikes doing there? This, I think this is a tier five apartment. I think I've seen the 
the quest for it before. Man, that looks like it would take forever to clear out. Um, yeah, I wish I could... Oh, watch out for landmines. Oh, also, check out that loot down there. <laughs> oh, damn, that's the main loot right there. Uh, is there a... Can, what about this door right here? Can I just go in through that door? Very, very laggy. I'm imagining lots of... Oops, lots of zombies down there. Maybe I could just uh, sneak a shot in on that there. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, that hurt me a little bit. One more, though. Yep. All right, heal up. Uh, cop in there, perhaps? Here, suck on that. Maybe set this up just for safety. How about... Ooh, there's just uh, washers and dryers in the way. Just a lumberjack. Lots of zombies in there, though. Okay, yep, let them right out. So far, so good. Yikes. Ow. Jump. <laughs> Run. Ah. They've just... They're running away. I don't know where they're going. Got one level up here. Oh my god, that guy's tough. Come on, man. Yeah, what we can do is maybe wait until we get the main loot off of this, run down here with the eye candy, and get another tier 5 loot. This looks to be clear in here now as well. Holy cow. Yes, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll prep this room for looting later. And I presume we'll probably have to, to do the lockpicking. Oh my god. Level 61, not high enough to lockpick this level 125 lock? Are you kidding me? I only have one time to charge, and I don't even know what I did with it. I think I left it in the vehicle. So, okay, we'll have to maybe save the time to charge for that one, and hope that we can pick the one that's in here. All right, well, hopefully if I hit this quest, the lag will kind of go away a little bit. In fact, when the lag gets bad like this, sometimes I just log out of the game and log back in. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, that's much better, actually. Good. Hit that. Unfortunately, I have stopped carrying first aid kits. I think I ran out once and just forgot to restock, but uh, painkillers do just as well. We have plenty of bandages. Also, <laughs> James, sorry, I forgot to get the uh, first aid kit thingy for you, but that's okay. We'll get that eventually. Right. We we'll probably find plenty of first aid in here, I would imagine. Okay, we'll wake a couple up here. We do have a rad over there. Rad bow. I'll try to get a sneak attack on him. There we go. Almost killed him, too. Oh, I just nicked him with the Galloway blade and he fell to his knees. I think we just need to burn through this place. Uh, we don't really have enough time in the day to kind of like pick this place clean, I don't think. Right, get the acid out of those if we can. There's one. Could potentially get a lot of acid out of this place. Two already. Okay, presumably, probably don't need to go this way, do we? That's the lobby. This is... Oh, there's a key box in there. That might be the exit, so uh, we'll just avoid doing this place incorrectly. Out into the, uh, I don't know, little, like, um, main reception area, I guess. Oh, bunch of zombies in here. Holy cow! Watch my back, would you? There's a zombie on my left. Hazmat guy having a hard time back there. Okay, we've got elevator shaft, sealed off area. Oh, that's going to a ladder, probably all the way up. Not a ladder, but stairs. More groups of zombies. So far, a very nice place. Um, seems like very l wide open spaces. You gotta love that. Plenty of room to move. Galloway Blade is friggin' legendary. Jeez, another acid there? Another acid there? Wow. And another one there, my goodness. Well, we're gonna need the acid anyway, since it takes 10 acid just to get the first upgrade done on the friggin' Valkyrie drill, which is why we're never ever gonna do that. I just get so excited about acid. It's friggin', it's just lovely when you get all kinds of it. Okay, got a good opportunity to get her sneak on here a little bit. Although this crossbow, really terrible. Probably just time to put this thing away, honestly. Here, let's try a, a silenced, whoop, hello. Oh, I just woke everyone up. Damn it. Hey, pop the lucky goggles on for that and get it in just a second here. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. Keep the lucky goggles on for this. Rocket launcher parts and some bullets. Where are we going from here? We got a light up there. Oh, I kind of like this. We're kind of going to scale the rubble here up to this part. 
Very cool. Just, uh, oh, this is just, um, you know, multiple floors, nursing station. Yep, I see. Yeah, nice rooms here. I've never been in a hospital before that has this big of rooms, though. <laughs> Unrealistic. That, and there's only, like, two rooms per ward. This is like a luxury hospital. Hospitals these days, they generally have pretty small rooms, you know, big enough to get the job done. They're like over capacity, that and administration, of course, they want more money to pay all of themselves, pretty much. And so what you get is two people packed into a room that was originally designed for one person. <laughs> it makes for really nice hospital stays, especially if you're there long term. You'll just love it there. All the sounds and smells of sick people in tight quarters. Aha, we're heading up into the elevator shaft now, it seems. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four floors remaining and potentially the roof after that. Okay, don't want to go PT. We're in the physical therapy department. Ooh, a lot of zombies here. And, uh, including ferals. Yikes. We can handle that. Aha, cool. Yes, there's, like, exercise equipment up here. Gears. Okay, gears are actually pretty valuable because they take steel to make. Okay, same deal here. Oh, here we go. Another ladder going up. All right, let's get out here, get some space, jump over their heads. Yes, here we go. Ow. I've got to be close to maxing out my Knives and Blades skill, I would think, at this point. Loot stage is currently 126, quite terrible, actually. Knives and Swords is up to 91, which is awesome. <laughs> Otherwise, everything else is just pathetically low. I mean, this uh, Undead Legacy appears to be a, the type of mod that's intended for you to play for, I would say, like, on the order of hundreds of days. You certainly could probably play for hundreds of days and not completely max out your character. So from here, I think we are heading out here again to do some more scaling on this scaffolding here. Oh, jeez. The freaking torch almost pushed me off. X-ray ward. We're in radiology now. Hit that button. We're heading into the... I don't know, PET scanner, CT scanner, MRI scanner, whichever. They all kind of look the same. Quiet place up here. Oh, not for long though. Ooh, that, ooh, that's full of rads in there. Okay, set up a defensive field of fire here. Preemptively just get some fire on them. Let them burn for just a second. In fact, let's um, point this this way and we'll kind of kite them down the, the, the hallway there. Okay, open her up. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, <laughs> melee, not, not, a, not the best option here. And I think we're out again. Oh my god. I did <laughs> happen to buy an oh shits drops today. Uh, how long does that last for? I hope it's like, oh, it's five minutes. Jeez. Okay. Uh, just, just, just don't fall. That's it. Oh, look at over there. Help. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I wonder if we could jump off the roof here and land over there. That's probably, no, that's not the main loot there, is it? Because the main loot was in the basement. There still might be something up there, though. I might uh, consider jumping over there. Presumably, oh, the way that we're going right now, the, uh, ah, jeez. The main loot's, oh geez, look at the landmines. The main loot is probably, I would say, on the rooftop of this place. You guys are the reason that healthcare is so friggin' expensive in this country. We're making some cuts. You're fired. You're fired. What we got here? More businessmen. You know what? We're gonna have some fun with these guys. Come right this way. Whoa, I almost stepped on that myself. Come on over. No, 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 not like that. Here we go. Goodbye. Nice. All right, take a bit of a break here because we're thirsty and we're hungry. Good thing we brought some fish tacos with us. It's not like they're gonna go bad or anything, just hanging out in our pocket. Also, wearing the wrong pair of shades all day long, what's do? All right, let's proceed. Back into the elevator shaft. I thought there was nothing left up here, but I guess maybe it didn't quite render in when I was way down below. So, yes, we're up to this floor now. Sweet B, not sure what department we're in here now. Surgery, I see. And done. Got the OR here, lots of control panels and things like that, but I just wanna know where we go next. Again, outside, what's new? Should have expected it, I guess. <gasps> okay. Oh, geez. Well, I don't know where to go now. We're just going right back in here, yes, to the other OR suite. Not sure what the better gun for this would be. Probably this one is quieter, so yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Working good. 
So yeah, I think I will probably put the crossbow away. Just kind of simplify things. Are we going back outside? I don't want to go back outside. <laughs> this is scary. Oh, good. We're back in here. Nice. Okay. Oh, and we're back out again. Okay, real quickly now, we're right back in here into the bathroom. Okay. Not that way, presumably, though. Oh, here we go. Aha! We got rooftop. And we've got birds, it sounds like. Okay, multiple soldiers here. Just gather them all up. Oh, big cluster of them right here. Up to the helipad. Anybody gonna be on here? Nope, this is a good bottleneck for us. Okay, set that down. Get a fire going. Robot's kind of helping out here. Not too bad. If anything, the cripple are probably helping out on it. Gives like a 30% reduction to speed or something like that. There we go. I think I could make that jump there. I could probably make the balcony or the staircase. Could do like a freaking Jason Statham parkour move and land over there. Guess we're heading down, down the stairs then. Aha, we're getting the uh, indicator now. We're at the end. Ah, perhaps we're going all the way down to like the parking garage basement level or whatever. And that'll be where the loot is. Oh, and in fact, there was the, um, there was one of these places that we we passed by early on. There was like a locked door with a key box behind it. That's probably the exit coming up from where we're going right now. Aha, okay, we got a door. Oh, we got a dog as well. Reload. Here he is. Here he comes. There we go. What we got here? We got spikes, washer. Oh, okay, the industrial area kind of in the gut to the base. Oh, jeez. Look out! Ow! Okay, so we're moving right along here. Maybe, let's maybe uh, get a coffee into us. I think we're getting towards the end here. Set up. Uh, we got 23 rounds left. It's not going to do much, but it might be just the thing we need to survive. And we hit that button there. Okay, we've got the main loot. We've got a radiated white. A couple of dogs. Maybe I'll just see if I can get a pop shot on the dog from way back here without waking the rest of them up. Oh, more dogs way in the back. Here we go. Lots of rads here. Okay, into the spikes. Up the stairs. Oh my God, they just ran right through the spikes. Um, Just, uh, I don't know, hang out up here, I guess. Ah, oh shit. Can they get to me up here? Oh my God, cops. Okay, just throw fire everywhere. Yikes. Okay, run over here and throw some more fire at him. Okay, just keep running. Yikes. Whoa. Come into the spikes, please, you cheating motherfuckers. Ow. Bandage. Bandage. More bandages. Oh, man. Ah, uh, jeez. Just, ah, reload. Yikes. Okay, just keep running. I can kind of outrun them. We got a screamer here. Just hanging out here on the freaking washing machine. It's a good spot, I think. Running low on bullets. Get some more fire onto them. I don't know where they are, though. There we go. UMP is about to break. Here, hide on top of the generator. No! Ow! Holy shit! That's broken. Cop's gonna blow. There he goes. Okay, we made it. Take that first aid kit. Holy shit, man. That was close. And it's nightfall as well. Grab that up. Screamer outside. I think we probably should be safe here. If only I could close that door, we'd be probably fine. Hidden stash there. Wow. Okay, the question is, can I pick that? 125? What? I don't suspect if I take a jailbreaker, I could then pick it. Maybe I could. I'm not sure. I think that only increases it by 75, though. Oh, no, we can get into it. Nice. There we go. We're in. And otherwise, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and take the eye candy, pop the lucky goggles on, and see what we get here. Oh, titanium axe. That is badass. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this place. It's all I'm willing to grab anyway. Let's see if there's an easy way to get out of here now. Got a button there we can press. Uh, we are really limited on weapon options right now. Everything is pretty much broken. Okay, we could go all the way to the rooftop or is there another way out of here? Oh, I see there's a ladder here now. 
And key box there opens this door. And then, okay, we're gonna run it. So, uh, the screamer's on the other side of the building. There's in fact two of them, I believe. Uh, we've still got time left on the looting candy. We're gonna see if we can pick this lock open over here. No, in fact, this one we're just gonna blow up. We don't have time for this. Yes, open this up. Oh, wow, okay, good scrap machete. Scrap that, take the rest. Read that, take the rest. Damn, good stuff. Ooh, just a pair of military gloves chilling out in that little pile there. All right, I've pushed my luck enough for one day, so let's get the hell out of here, go home, and sort through all this loot. I have to run down these two screamers here. Come on, what do you guys got? Show me what you got. Spawn in all your zombies. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. Oh, my God. We haven't cleared the area. Oh, my God. This is insane. There are still fucking zombies left in here. Are you kidding me? Shit. Um, I can't believe I left. I went to a new friggin' loot, and I success- I didn't fail the friggin' quest. Yet, anyway. Oh, jeez. And these zombies are all on me. Oh, boy. Here. We gotta park somewhere away from the friggin' screamer. And, uh, oh, boy. What are we gonna do here? Shit. Okay, we gotta work our way inside. Jump over the spikes. Yes, there we go. Okay, one screamer's down. Downstairs. I can't remember how we got down here and where we came from. Ah, yes, we came down the stairs here. So we gotta go up the stairs and find the freaking zombies. Hopefully as we get up, the the, the complexity of the freaking pathing will get the zombies thrown off a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I've gone way past wherever the zombies are now, though. I have an idea. If we can just get up here. Okay, we're out to the rooftop again. Uh, it's on. They're on this side here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get on the edge here, and we should be able to scale the side of the building. Let's just take the, uh, oh shit's drops. They're right here in the inventory. Put my frames back down, and I think we're probably good to just do this right here. Just drop down bit by bit until we find whatever floor the zombies are on, and then we'll enter and kill them, and then we'll be able to friggin' leave finally. Oh my, I just can't believe that I didn't fail the quest when we left to go to the other POI to get the main loot. It's just like that other time. The exact same thing happened. Okay, uh, 6.8 meters. It looks like down as well. Are they on the freaking first floor after all this? Here, jump over here. We're gonna have to just re-enter the POI and, and head down, maybe. It's just like barely any bullets left. Okay, here's the zombies. Really, the only question is, where are the ones that are important to me? Oh my god, look at the zombies here. I've got like nothing that can kill them either. Here we go! Is there just like one fucking zombie in here? Is it you? Die! Is there another? I- Oh fuck! Oh my god! Yes, there he is! Ah, oh, it's- it's uh, it's that guy! Okay, he's on me. I- I can pick him out in a crowd. I think I just need to kill him and we're good. Alright, where did he go? I guess we're just gonna go fucking back and forth until we kill this guy. Is that you? I cleared the area! We're fucking good! Let's get the fuck out of here! Out the door, out the door, into the buggy! Where's the buggy? It's over here! Alright, here we go! And we're in, and we're out of here! Oh my god, what a stressful night! Alright, we're back to the base, safe and sound. Just noticing here, I had a broken arm, so we can take that plaster cast, put the right pair of glasses back on, and the inventory is an absolute mess right now, so... I'm gonna go through this for a minute and get everything organized. All right, that should do it right there. A couple of notable items here, though. We've got the Titanium Axe, which, uh, let's just compare those briefly. So the C-Class versus the B-Class. The C-Class doing, um, just a little bit more. We're going from, uh, 75 up to 83 on the block damage. So, not the most dramatic thing there. Also, I could put one more mod onto it if I had one. Iron Breaker, that'll do. So we've got that. Let's have a look. Wow, that thing looks pretty freaking cool, doesn't it? Look at it shining in the light. Oh, so cool. Right, so we can sell that. And we've got this C-Class backpack, although I'm not sure where we left off when we were upgrading the one that we have. Looks like we had a C-Class, so we can go ahead and just put that into the cell chest and we'll put it onto some other piece of armor that we find in the future. And the advanced bubble connector is not too bad. Just toss those onto a little piece of armor there. And I think we're good. 
And oh my god, look at everything on the inventory is broken. The sword's broken, the Golconda's almost broken, the UMP's almost broken, the impact driver's almost broken, shovel not looking too great, and all of my armor needs to be repaired as well. I did get some barbed wire here, ammo casings and stuff like that, so I wanted to craft barbed wire fences, 24 of those. We're gonna start putting those in the pit to help slow the zombies down as they try to process their way out of it. And other than that, I think I'm just gonna work on maintaining my armor tonight, and uh, in the morning, we will We'll start probably doing some construction projects because tomorrow will be the day before the horde and I want to get things nice and strong over here and I also want to complete the other side of the building where we did all the sort of decoration there on the side but anyway my friends and fellow survivors I think we can call it a night Hey everyone, my name is Temreki, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, and most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see here. I hope this video has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.